The government of India has declared uh, six major reforms to boost up the micro, small and medium enterprises, in short MSMEs. The sector of economy apparently has taken the, the biggest brunt of the uh, economic crash prompted by the coronavirus pandemic outbreak. The reforms have uh, acknowledged that the uh, segment is, this segment is, I beg your pardon, one of the key pillars of the Indian economy and hence needs a big impetus and stimulus. Some people, you know, may still question and doubt these measures and expect more. But I, for one, stand in favor of these measures and view them as a step in the right direction. Let me share the details of these reforms in my video talk today, the, the ones relating to MSMEs. Firstly, the government will arrange a collateral free automatic loan for SMEs up to 3 lakh crore, meaning thereby that MSME units uh, need not furnish any collateral or guarantee for the loans availed under under this scheme. They will also not be obligated to pay any principal component of the loan for the first year. First year would be a holiday year uh, as to the principal payments. The tenure of the loan will be for four years. This is, you know, expected to benefit 45 lakh units. That is, you know, uh, 4,500,000 5, units. Uh, you know, uh, it will help in recommencing businesses and maintaining the jobs. Uh, secondly, the government will organize rupees 20,000 crore subordinated debt for stressed MSMEs facing an equity problem. This measure will support the functioning of MSMEs, which are either NPAs, non-performing assets, or are economically stressed. It is assumed that 2 lakh or 200,000 MSMEs may benefit under this grouping. The government will provide a support of rupees 4,000 crore partial credit guarantee funding to banks. The promoters of the MSMEs will be eligible to receive debt by banks in the form of equity infusion. Thirdly, fund of the fund shall be structured and created for the infusion of rupees 50,000 crore as equity into MSMEs. This will help MSMEs with growth potential viabilities to avail greater support in capacity uh, expansion and for getting listed on the stock exchanges in the stock markets. Fourthly, and very importantly, the definition of MSME is being reformed and modified to reassure and boost MSMEs to flourish and become bigger, grow without losing on to the benefits uh, availed by MSMEs. The investment limit, the, limit uh, the, the investment limit, beg your pardon, that defined the MSME is being revised upwards along with the addition of turnover as criteria to categorize MSMEs. Further variation and distinction between manufacturing and service MSMEs is being completely eliminated, removed. For micro enterprises in, in both manufacturing and service sectors, the investment limit is being raised from 25 lakh and rupees 10 lakh uh, respectively to rupees 1 crore. It's huge with a, with a maximum turnover of rupees 5 crore. Likewise, for small enterprises in both the sectors, the investment limit is being um, is being raised from uh, five crore and 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 two crores respectively uh, to rupees ten crore. That's huge with a, with a maximum turnover of rupees fifty crore. And 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 finally, for medium enterprises in manufacturing and service sector, the investment limit uh, you know is is being raised from rupees. Uh, from rupees 10 crore and 5 crore respectively to rupees uh, 20 crore with a maximum turnover of rupees uh, 100 crore. Fifthly, significantly, 
you know, I would say because this, it's a significant measure, beg your pardon, because this will have some reciprocal backlash and even some issues with WTO. Uh, the measure says that the government procurement tenders up to rupees 200 crore will now be disallowed and no longer be open to global tenders and players, thereby allowing MSMEs the exclusive opportunity to participate. The government believes that the MSMEs were subjected to unfair you know, competition, rightly so, by the foreign companies in the past, which now will stand eliminated. So that, that's a revolutionary measure, though it may face some uh, disturbances and, and some opposition globally. Finally, in this tough times and trying times, the trade fairs will be tough, exhibitions will be tough and challenging to hold. So therefore, e-linkage uh, market is being provided for MSMEs and firmer, further, the government has assured to clear all the receivables due to MSMEs in the next 45 days. That's fantastic, I would say. So overall, you know, a great step in the right direction. Thank you and see you again in the next talk.